Hello ladies and gents, Radix here at T3G doing a review for the HTC Desire 816 uh, camera. Today we're going to be uh, you know, going over a lot of things uh, that this camera has to offer. Right now I'm recording with the back camera, the 13 megapixel primary camera. Uh, recording in 1080p right now, we're just using all stock settings, nothing's really changed. Um, the camera also has a 5 megapixel front facing camera in the front. Um, and you know, I'm going to have some video samples from that as well in this exact spot with this exact same lighting so you guys can see the difference between the primary and the secondary camera. So right now I'm actually propped up right in front of two studio lights and a huge uh, deck window and I'm pretty much in the best like most optimal lighting condition possible right now so this is uh, you know one of the best samples for the uh, primary camera and uh, in a little bit I'm gonna switch it over to the front camera so you guys can see how the video recording looks uh, from that angle. <laughs> right now we don't have flash on with the back camera as well um, so for a part of this review, I'm actually going to be showing, um, you know, picture samples, different video samples. Um, you know, it's got a lot of features, and uh, when it comes to recording and just taking pictures in general, you know, HDR, panorama, uh, slow motion, which is actually really awesome. I'm super glad that HTC uh, decided to, uh, you know, give this phone the slow motion option because, you know, it, it's it comes in handy so many times. Like it, it'll record like so many cool clips. So. You know, I've got some stuff uh, in slow motion for you guys to see. But other than that, it's just going to be a lot of samples. And this also doubles as a uh, microphone review for the uh, for the HTC Desire 816. Because while the samples are going on, we're going to do some voiceovers. And those voiceovers are going to be recorded by the phone itself. Alright, ladies and gents, you may have noticed that we switched over to the front-facing camera. And yes, if you are wondering, there is a uh, whole review for the HTC Desire 816, the phone itself. Uh, there should be an annotation and a link in the description below. But other than that, you guys can see that the front-facing camera can most definitely hold its own. I'm going to show you guys a few other samples from the front-facing camera and the back-facing camera's um, video recording options because right now, uh, as you guys can probably tell, I'm not in the most you know practical lighting conditions. I'm sitting in front of two studio lights and you know a whole deck window that's lighting the room perfectly. So you know this is obviously the most optical condition, optimal condition I could be in. Excuse me. And, um, you know, I'm going to show you guys some more lower light settings and whatnot. Back at it with the front-facing camera. As you guys can see, everything looks a lot more grainy now. The colors look a little weird. Uh, I'm only sitting in front of, like, one light and the window's open. It's it's pretty normal lighting. Uh, it's a pretty normal lighting scenario for most people. So, you know, it's not that bad. You know, it still could be a lot better, but front-facing camera, 1080p, $180. It's not that bad. So, uh, yeah. Here it is. Kind of grainy, weird coloration, but it's not that bad. A sample for the full for the front-facing camera. Uh, as you can see, this is a lot more realistic, and uh, you know, there's a lot of background noise. I'm right next to a uh, a busy street, a very busy street. Um, you know, this is more, a lot more realistic when it comes to video recording with the front-facing camera. Uh, because normally if you're going to be using the front-facing camera for video recording, you're obviously going to be getting shots of yourself, speaking, doing whatever. So this is what it's like in a, uh, you know, a busy setting with, you know, dynamic lighting, I guess you could say. And, uh, you know, not artificial lighting. This is all natural. So, uh, yeah, it's still doing a pretty good job of picking up a bunch of colors. It's still crisp, but, I mean, it's a front-facing camera. You can't expect too much out of it. So, there we go. A little more steady. Not that bad. Yeah. Um, so there should be some samples coming up here uh, for photos and some more uh, primary camera samples. Stay tuned. All right, ladies and gents. Right now I'm doing a uh, little voiceover clip uh, recorded with the HTC Desire 816. Um, right now I'm showing you guys a fast HD option on the video recording mode. Uh, so I guess this can be used for fast forwarding and whatnot. So there should be like 15 seconds of uh, fast forwarded cars. And right after this clip, I'm going to show you guys uh, some of the slow motion, <laughs> some of the slow motion features, excuse me, um, you know, one of them being a basketball video, uh, the other one being like a couple, a couple seconds of just cars looking like they're moving at three miles per hour. It's actually kind of weird. It's pretty trippy. Um, but unfortunately the, uh, the video quality on the slow motion is actually very poor and I can't say the best about the, uh, about the fast HD option. It's only in 720p. So, uh, enjoy those, uh, enjoy those samples and there should be a few more pictures after that with some music playing. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. This has been Red X with T3G signing out.